She was an actress that took the world by storm. Women wanted to be her, and men wanted to be with her. A model, an actress, an icon, and a sex symbol, she is still talked about today. Being shown in many biographies and encountered by many stars of yesteryear, this is Marilyn Monroe, and this is her basic biography. Early life Marilyn Monroe's real name was Norma Jean Mortensen, and she was born on the 1st of June 1926 in Los Angeles, California. She was able to grow up in California and even live with her mother, as well as two of her siblings, during the 1920s and the 1930s. She spent most of her time with foster parents due to her mother not remaining with her and even not being able to know her father's identity. Marilyn Monroe also spent some time in orphanages in the 1930s, but trying to rekindle her relationship with her mother and not being able to stay together for a long time. After her time in the orphanages and away from her mother, she was able to spend time with her mother's friend, um, yet not even lasting together based on mutual agreements and disagreements. From then on, she would manage to take on the responsibility of being an, an educated student, even being in education as well as graduating from Emerson Junior High School. Marilyn Monroe would also fall in love with the local boy who was roughly five years her senior, and even got married in the 1940s. During the 1940s, her husband was able to become a major, uh, merchant ma a marine and was able to be shipped out to the Pacific, with Marilyn Monroe joining him. Later on, she was able to become a housewife and not able to complete, complete her schooling, and then being able to take up other jobs and other roles after being a housewife. This would be after the war where she would be able to become a model. A model actress, Marilyn Monroe managed to return to the United States after the Second World War, which her husband had been able to take part in and was a merchant marine. She was able to stay with him for four years until they divorced in 1946. During the 1940s, Monroe was able to become a model and have a modeling career, which actually helped her become an actress in the United States. She previously worked to help with the war effort during the 1940s and during World War II, working with the US Army in their factories for manu manufacturing and even helping out modeling and showing loads of pictures during the war effort. She was able to spend time working with different agencies to launch her modeling career, and during that time her name was changed to Norm uh, Jean Norman, and would have curly hair instead of her blonde long hair. Marilyn Monroe would be on magazines and other media promoting various pr products and even being a pinup girl pinup girl during the 1940s and 1950s. She was able to become an actress, yet was not able to work with big studios at the time, which was not looking good due to being divorced from her husband and even mostly spending her time um, trying to get into acting by spending money on acting and dance classes to help her acting career. Yet her acting career was able to launch and even was able to become a reality during the late 1940s and just before the 1950s. Marilyn Monroe was able to play and even star in a big major movie role. This was the movie Dangerous Years in 1947 where Marilyn Monroe was able to play a uh, character called Eve and would be a smaller and yet um, unimaginative role that she would be taking during that time. Yet, in her later years, she would become a leading actress and even able to become a single blonde woman in most of her roles, which actually gave her high status and even a star on the Hollywood Boulevard. 
Talk of the town and iconic star. In the 1950s, Marilyn Monroe managed to become a star, a model, and even a sex symbol. Many men and women saw her performances. She became a woman that would be respected by loads of people and a star that always would shine. She was able to star in many roles and even able to break into many different genres, such as comedies, westerns, and dramas where she was able to pose in many iconic footage and film, which she is now talked about today, with many stars and other people who knew her. Even romantically linked with her, as she was a sidekick to a glorious beauty. She would spend time with actresses in iconic Hollywood movies, such as How to Marry a Millionaire, where she was able to sing Diamonds are, for, are a girl's best friend, and even shown dancing and using her dance and uh, dance moves and singing talents. Nigeria, uh, not Nigeria, Ni Niagara in 1953 helped her become a popular actress and be up against other actresses of the time. She was able to promote herself in various movies at the time. Also, she starred in the movie The Seven Year Itch in 1954, where most of her pictures are actually used in various arts and film photography. Finally, working with Hollywood heavyweights in the late 1950s, such as Laurence Olivier to Tony Curtis, the world was actually at her feet at this current moment, and she recalled to be friends with various world leaders, such as John, John F. Kennedy as one of his favourite, and even she was one of his favourite actresses, spending time with both Robert Kennedy and John F. Kennedy in the 1960s. Also in the 60s, she was able to star on television by singing to John F. Kennedy on his birthday. But the 1950s were able to to be her breakout years, or breakout year, um, but yet she was able to be talked about and even been awarded during the time of the 1950s and the 1960s due to her films and television appearances. Personal life and final years. Marilyn Monroe was married three times and had no children. Her first husband was James Doherty, who was a merchant marine during World War II, and the relationship lasted from 1942 to 1946. Her second has husband was the baseball legend and great player of all time in baseball, Joe DiMaggio. The relationship lasted from 1954 to 1955. Her final husband was the writer Arthur Miller, and their relationship lasted from 1956 to, to 1961. During her later years, or just before her death, she was able to show signs of depression and even instability in her private life, as this would be based on being a well-known star and having a most lucrative private life, and which actually was negative towards her. Yet, she was able to still star in many roles and even win awards from the BAFTAs to the Academy Awards spending some time away from the limelight and being more classed as a model instead of an actress, with many actors and actresses wanting to see her and even be with her all the time. Her career declined with most of her roles that she wanted to star in being taken by new actresses at the time, and even was able to be cut from many roles due to new coming and coming-of-age actors and even new movie genres. She managed to still act during the 1960s with other actors, actors and actresses in films such as Let's Make Love and even The Misfits. Her last film was actually The Misfits, which starred Clark Gable, Montgomery Cliff, and even Eli Walsh, as well as working with renowned directors such as John Huston. Legacy of a Sex Symbol Marilyn Monroe passed away on the 5th of August 1962 at the age of 36 in Los Angeles, California. 
The cause of her death was drug overdose and would be based on many theories even till today trying to figure out if it was such the case. And even figuring out if stress and impacts of a private life caused this problem. She will always be remembered for being a good actress and even being one of the Hollywood money makers and even movie industries loved her. But yet, she still would be typecasted as a dumb blonde and even a sexy blonde lady, depending on how you see it, who had no sense of reality. But she was able to be an actually, uh, and actually be a great person in real life, as she was able to still survive and live life after so much hardship. Even till today, she is a hero to many women and even many men and sometimes being parodied or even replicated in many movies, pictures and television programs. If she was uh, surviving today and lived today, she would be still happy and would be happier just being a hero and a legend, and even being respected by the world. If she was still in Hollywood and still stayed in Hollywood, she would become the greatest actress that ever lived, and even is now one of the greatest actresses. She could be more inclined into many roles or could be taking parts in new genres such as action or even superhero movies and would have been classed as a femme fatale or an actress that would help newcomers to take her reins of Hollywood and even make her legacy live on. Well, this is my video from about Marilyn Monroe. If you would like to see more, please subscribe and look for more videos on my channel. This is Suki Cookie and thank you for watching.